One thing to remember, when you get a piece of property and you've got water flowing through your property, you need to be aware of how much water will come up when it does rain. Now on the last video of the land, there wasn't hardly any water in the creek, but it rained all day yesterday, so let's walk down and look at the creek. Back down, we need to rig up a pipe and put, uh, yeah, put measurements on. Yeah. All right, as y'all can see, there's a good bit of water. And if you can pan around at, to the bridge, come down here where everybody can see the bridge. Remember how high the bridge was from the ground, and now the water, what is that, about three foot from the bridge? I'd say four. Well, down here on this end, it's going to be three. But uh, this this water in this creek comes up fast and goes down fast. And when you get a piece of property, you really need to know because I had a tent set up down here. This is the lower end of the property, and I had a tent set up, and that's pretty much where I stayed when I came down here. Well, it rained for three days straight, and when I come down here after it rained, I realized two foot of water had actually flipped my tent upside down and that wouldn't have been good if I was staying in that tent that night. But uh, that's why I moved everything to the top of the hill. So one thing, that's another thing, when you get a piece of property and you plan on putting a structure up, I would probably wait at least three years before you put anything permanent down just so you know what naturally happens on your land. Y'all, I'm gonna bring you along with us going up the pipeline today. Like I said, you ain't gotta point it at me. Like I said, it's rained all day yesterday, so that big mud hole is probably slammed full of water today. And uh, we finna go up the pipeline. All right, y'all, here we go. This tree right here is the sour cherry tree. That's the best I could come up with. The uh, cherries make awesome, awesome jelly. I'll give you a close up of the bark. If y'all uh, if y'all know more about what this tree is, it's n I know it's not a plum tree, but there's the bark. And the fruit doesn't get ready until I'll give you a close-up of the trunk. The fruit gets ripe. There's a close-up of the trunk. And it's got needles on it like a plum tree. And the fruit has a pit in it. But uh, plums get ready early and these the fruit didn't get ready till August and September and 
and here's the other tree this is a mulberry tree it don't look like much but it gets covered in mulberries and they are delicious I'm gonna clear all these little trees out around it so it'll grow a little bit better because it's it looks like it's in rough shape but it was slam full of fruit this year yeah there's another one that little one right behind it that little tree that little light looking tree right there it's a mulberry tree too there's the creek yep it's got some water in it that's our little fishing hole that hole stays pretty that's a pretty deep hole because it stays wet right there even when the creek gets really really low you can catch little old bitty fish we ain't actually found the deepest holes yet but we're uh, we're on the hunt we've got a uh, a bunch of huckleberry bushes out here and during the spring we'll come out and pick huckleberries and I'll show you what we do on our huckleberry bushes like right now you can't you can't tell what the huckleberry bush even looks like so uh, what we do we mark them find a spot to get in here this is right on the edge of the creek so they grow really good out here see we put little ties on them and mark them so if we're coming out here <clears throat> and we're breaking limbs down and clearing ways to walk through we make sure we don't mess with those that's how we keep track of our huckleberry bushes 